you guys, Linwood here, and today I am going to show you how to do the pumpkin knot. So stay tuned and thumbs up if you like it. And if you haven't seen my last video, you can do so by clicking the I in the top right corner here. Now, of course, I figured it was the perfect time to name this the pumpkin knot and go ahead and show a tutorial for it because it's harvest time. Halloween is right around the corner. And you know, I already have a vampire knot out. So I figured, you know, let's go with something a little bit more uh, open and not just strictly vampirish to some of the more light sides of fall. So hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this baby down and then we will get started. All right, so some things that you should know. Uh, I have this image flip, so this t uh, side here with the blade is my right side. This side here with the tail is my left side. And I have the corner of my blade sitting at about the belt line. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and create my power crease by placing my finger in the middle and pinching from the outside, just like so. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this to the center and cross over with the tail of my tie. From there, I'm just gonna wrap around the back, like so, and back around the front. Once I've done that, I'm gonna come up and through the center from the back. And now we're just gonna go ahead and take it real simply. I'm gonna bring it back over here to the left, pass behind the back, and bring it up from the right with this sort of motion here. Now once I've done that, I'm just gonna loosen this baby up just a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead, bring it right down through this loop. Okay, and now that I've done that, I'm just gonna go ahead, fold it in half, making sure that my rough sides are facing upward. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it folded all the way to the ends. I brought it over to the left side, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it through this loop to the right. And see how it's trying to come unfolded? That's not a problem. Just fold it back up and continue to pull. All right, so from here, I've got my rough sides facing outward just like so. And I wanna make sure that this is nice and tight, so I'm just gonna go ahead and snug this baby up just a bit. And this way I've got plenty to work with. All right, so from here, I'm just gonna come around the back and up through this uh, back portion around to the other side. Now, a lot of times I would see people would potentially want to place it just like this, but instead you're gonna come underneath this loop that you've created and then bring it back and down. All right, so this loop is going to come through both of these loops here, right there, and then just tuck that baby right on down there like so. Now we're unfolding and fanning it out, okay? And then this is where we get into all the fun stuff, the detail work. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this inner layer here out just a little bit, and it's just kind of naturally sliding that back some. So this way you kind of see those different layers within there, giving you more of that onion, or onion, Lord. I've got my mind all over the place, that pumpkin type feel. I'm gonna go ahead and pull here on what would essentially be like the stem of that pumpkin. So if you're looking at it now, it's like an upside down pumpkin going on down just like this here. And of course, I went ahead and selected an orange tie just to help you visualize a bit more. All right, bring that collar down. Let's go ahead and make little last minute adjustments. And there you have it. So let me know what you think in the comment box below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I am so thankful for you. I'm so thankful for your views. And until next time, take care and God bless. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You are fancy now. Take care and I will see you next time.
Bye-bye.